Hello, my name is Samantha and in this video I'll be outlining the various ventilation modes available on the Zeus IE. On Draeger devices, man-spont is considered a ventilation mode. Man-spont mode is for spontaneous breathing or for manual ventilation via the manual breathing bag. When the APL valve is set to spont, the patient can breathe fully spontaneously. The triangle icon indicates spontaneous breaths. In Zeus IE, the ventilator is always active in man spont mode. This creates a circular flow which reduces the inspiratory resistance, making it easier for patients to breathe completely spontaneously. If you want the patient to breathe spontaneously on a certain pressure level to hold the lung open, CPAP can be applied. This also increases the functional residual capacity of the lung. Ensure that the patient connection is leak tight when using CPAP. Otherwise, the reservoir bag will be deflated by the ventilator and CPAP will cease. During manual ventilation, set the APL valve on the desired inspiratory pressure and start manually ventilating the patient via the breathing bag. To avoid the expiratory pressure going down to zero, a CPAP can be applied. Here you can see the CPAP function being applied during manual ventilation. The APL setting defines the inspiratory pressure and the CPAP setting defines the expiratory pressure in this situation. To change your ventilation modes, select your desired ventilation mode from the horizontal tabs and confirm your setting. The active ventilation mode will now be dark green in colour. In volume control mode, you have the ability to set a tidal volume and a frequency. P max limits the inspiratory pressure. If the set volume is not reached because the pressure is limited by the P max setting, a corresponding alarm will appear. To adjust your IE ratio, highlight the parameter and using the rotary knob, make your selection. On the side, you'll be able to see the inspiratory and expiratory times as you make your adjustment. In volume control auto flow mode, this will still target your set tidal volume and frequency. However, we'll avoid the peak inspiratory pressure as seen in volume mode and we'll typically achieve a lower peak inspiratory pressure. You'll also notice a decelerating flow waveform. The patient can breathe spontaneously on both pressure levels. This means that they never have to fight against a ventilator. Also, if a patient starts coughing, the system is always open to avoid pressure peaks. Pressure control ventilation is switching between two CPAP levels as it enables spontaneous breathing on both pressure levels. Switching sync on will activate synchronization and if set, activates the set delta pressure support. To create a combination of pressure control and pressure support ventilation. You will also see the term BiPAP displayed in the name of the ventilation mode. In pressure support ventilation, you have the ability to set a minimum frequency. Whereas in this time, if the patient does not provide inspiratory effort, 
mechanical breaths will be delivered. After two consecutive ventilator breaths, you'll see a message confirming apnea ventilation. If inspiratory effort is detected, This will be confirmed via the triangle stamps. The apnea ventilation alarm can be configured to low or medium priority depending on the hospital preference. The trigger sensitivity defines which inspiratory flow value will be recognised as effort by the patient. If the value is set too high, this may cause discomfort for the patient. If the value is set too low, false triggering, for example, surgical movement may be caused. Turning delta pressure support off will allow for complete spontaneous breathing. You have the option to select Smart Ventilation Control on the Zeus IE. Please refer to the Advanced Features video for more information. To access the external fresh gas outlet for non-rebreather circuits, such as the AIRS T-piece, select it from the available ventilation modes. Here you can set your fresh gas settings for the external fresh gas outlet. In pause mode, all ventilation and fresh gas delivery is stopped. This mode can be used during intubation and the detachment of the breathing circuit from the airway to prevent inadvertent agents from entering the surrounding environment and minimise fresh gas wastage. It also prevents a depletion of the reservoir bag and may avoid fresh gas low or leak alarms to be triggered. A safety time limit will also be triggered during therapy. When the timer runs out, a message confirming pause time has expired will be displayed. Until you resume ventilation or select from the available vent modes, only then will fresh gas delivery and or mechanical ventilation resume. Selecting resume ventilation will take you to the previous ventilation mode prior to pause being activated. This will also hold your previous ventilation mode settings. The alternative use of pause is for monitoring mode, where you only require CO2 monitoring. This can be accessed from the startup dialog by selecting pause from the very beginning. This mode will monitor CO2, but pause all other alarms. There will also be no timer triggered. If you were to enter a ventilation mode and then go back to pause, a two minute safety timer will be triggered for the adult patient profile. For paediatrics, it will be 60 seconds and 30 seconds for neonatal patients. The timer can be readjusted if safe to do so, to either off or up to a maximum of 60 minutes. For further information on ventilation modes, please refer to the instructions for use or contact your local Draeger representative.